the more I did in a way, I started to become aware of the structures and I could see what before I was identified with. So there's the conditioning part of it. And then there is the trauma part of it, how it affected my own childhood development, how it affected my mother's, my father's, my grandparents' lives and how the war affected them and, and how the collective uh, trauma affects me and sits in my nervous system. And so, yes, we need to do, most of us need to do first some individual trauma work or we are individually not so strongly affected and we, we become aware of the individual ancestral and collective work by exploring more the collective. It shows me also the other levels in myself too, because they're all connected. So wherever I start, it's the same, it's the same blanket I start to lift. If I lift it here, so then the rest will follow. If I lift it here, so the rest will follow. So because it's interdependent. And it also means that it's interdependent between us. It's not that for you, it's something else. And I'm like kind of a separate person and I deal with my stuff and you deal with yourself. After all, when we allow, when we do enough of the collective trauma work, I'm certain that the collective narrative with all its missing pieces of information will slowly, slowly cohere and the missing information will slowly show up how a genocide in Rwanda and what happened in Europe and what happened in the US and what happened in China and what happened in Argentina and how all these things are part of one living organism and how they are all connected and they affect each other.